Kira. And hi, I'm Ellie. Today I will be teaching you the three easiest ways to multiply. First, distributive property, then area model, then standard form. First, I will be teaching you distributive property, then we will be teaching area model. Lastly, Kira will be teaching That's the standard form. First, we do 4 times 6, which is 24, carrying your tip. Then, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. So you put 18 in there. Then you're going to add your 0 because you're moving into the tenth place. Then you can erase all the extra things. Then, you do 10 times 6, which is 12, carrying your 1. Then you do 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 1 is 9. Now you're going to add all your numbers together. 4, 10, 11. So the answer to this problem is 1,104. The first steps to area model. You pick a number, a couple numbers to times, like 4 times 882. Then you're going to draw your model and separate it into hundreds, tens, and ones. Then you're going to take the outside number or the smallest number and you're going to put it on the outside of the model. Then you're going to take your larger digit and you're going to put your hundreds right there, tens right there, and ones right there. So now you're going to time 4 times 800, 4 times 80, and 4 times 2. 4 times 8 is 32, and then you have your two zeros, so 3,200. And 4 times 8 again, 32, and you bring down your 1 zero. And then 4 times 2, another basic fact, 8. And then you're going to take your numbers, like, so, and you're going to add them all together. 8, 2, 5, 3. So the answer to our problem, 4 times 882, is 3,520. So I will be teaching you distributive property. Today, I will be multiplying 345 times 7. So with distributive property, you're just breaking up the largest number. So it would be 300 times 7 plus 40 times 7 plus 5 times 7. Then you're going to think about what 3 times 7 is. 3 times 7 is 21. 21, and you have to add the zeros, so it's 2,100. 2, then you have to think about what's 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 20, 28, and you can't forget about the zero, so it's 280. And then you just have a basic math fact, which is 35. And then you're going to take it, take all the numbers, and you're going to add them together. It's 280 plus 35. 5 plus 0 is 5. Um, 8 plus 3 is 11. And then... Um, 2 plus 1 and 1 again is 4 and 2, so 2,000. So when you get to the very end, you have the answer to your problem. And for my problem, the answer is 2,450.